Hello, let's welcome you once again to this channel. We are happy to see you once again. In this video, we are solving WASI 2021 Core Mathematics Paper 2. This is question number 6. If you want the other questions of this paper, please be watching this corner here. As soon as you see WASI 2021 pop up, just click it. Then it will take you to all the other questions that I have solved so far. I keep updating it. Thank you. So, the question number six it reads In a military camp, 50 officers has a choice of beans, plantain, and rice. Of these officers, 21 chose beans. 24 plantain and 18 rice. Also, 3 chose beans only, 9 plantain only, 2 rice only, and 5. 5 chose all 3 kinds of food. Illustrate the information on a Venn diagram. So let's do that part. So we are going to use the rectangle to represent the universal set because there were 50 military men in the camp. We use the universal set to be 50. That is, we represent the investor set by 50. Then also, we're told that 21 chose beans. So this is number of beans, 21. We use this circle to represent all those choosing beans. Then we're also told that 24 chose plantain. Then 18 chose rice. Also, we're told that three chose beans only. So this is beans only. Then nine plantain only. So this is plantain only. Then two rice only. This is rice only. Then also five chose all three kinds of food. So all three kinds of food is this region. Good. Now, we are to use the information to do some calculations here. But before that, let us check these regions that are empty. We have one, two, three here. So we are going to use X, Y, Z to represent them. Then also, there's another region here. Which is the region where none of them chose any food. The region that represents none of them choosing any kind of food. Okay, so now we finish representing the information, the Venn diagram. We need to use it to calculate. The number of officers who chose plantain and beans only. So plantain and beans only is X. But before we can do that, we have three variables. So we need to set up some three equations in X, Y, and Z. So let's go. How can we get that three equations? We can use this circle for beans. Also this circle for plantain. Then also this circle for rice to obtain the three equations. So let's begin with the circle for beans. So when we add all these elements here, we must get 21. So that is what we have obtained here. X plus Y 
plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 21. I know that you can add 3 and 5 to get 8 and subtract from 21 to get 13. So I'll skip that step for you. So this gives us the first equation. So let's come to the second circle. We are going to add x, z, 5, and 9. Then we equate it to 24. And I also know that you can add 5 and 9 and subtract it from 24. So 5 plus 9, 14. 24 minus 14 is 10. To get the second equation. Then also the last one. We are going to add y, z, 5, and 2, and you create it to 18. That's good. So I know you can add 5 and 2 to get 7, and subtract it from 18 to get 11. So we get the third equation here. Good. So we are going to solve equation 1, equation 2, equation 3 simultaneously. But this is very easy to do because you can see that all the coefficients are, are 1, 1, 1, 1. So we can do elimination here. Let's concentrate on equation 1 and equation 2. You can see that when we subtract equation 2 from 1, x will go away. So let's do that. Equation 1 minus equation 2 will give us x minus x, which is 0 then y minus z then 13 minus 10 which is equal to 3 good then let's that is that will give us another equation equation 4 then now let us concentrate on equation 3 and equation 4 because they all have the same variable two equations in two variables and it is also easy to do because all the coefficients are 1. So this one, they are 1 and opposite. So we can choose to add. We can also choose to subtract. But we are going to add. So when we add the two equations, we get equation 3 plus equation 4. Two, y plus y is 2y. This and this will give us 0. Then 11 plus 3 is 14. So 2y is equal to 14. This means that we can easily solve for y, which is 7. Good. So when we know y, we can find any of them. So let's answer the question. Use the Venn diagram to find the number of officers who chose plantain and beans only. So plantain and beans only is x. So let's go and choose an equation that has x in it, x and y, so that we can solve. So from equation 1, from equation 1, you can see that x is equal to 13 minus y, but the y is 7. So x is equal to 13 minus 7, which is 6. So x is equal to 6. So it means that Plantain, those who like plantain and beans only are 6. Now, let's look at the value of z. We can find the value of z by substituting. We can find the value of z by substituting um, y into equation 3. You can also use this. So equations 3 gives us y plus z equal 11, which means that z is equal to 11 minus z. But the z is 7. So we are getting z. But the y is 7. So we are getting 11 minus 7 equal 4. The so value of z is 4. Now that we've gotten the value of z, we can now answer the second question because we now have the value of z, y, and x. x. So y, x, and z. So exactly two kinds of food is x plus z plus y. 
this region is exactly two exactly two exactly two so this is two only two only two only so exactly two is the addition of x plus y plus z that will give us seven plus six plus four seven plus six plus four so that is 17. now to find the number of officers who chose none of the three kinds of food we need to find this region here the complement which is n remember that when we add all the regions we will get 50 which is the universal set so n plus x plus y plus z plus 9 plus 2 plus 3 and plus 5 should give us 50. so when we add 9 plus 2 you know 2 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 2 10 19 then we also have x plus y plus z over here is equal to 17 so we put 17 in place of this so n plus 17 plus 19 is equal to 50 n plus 36 is equal to 50 n is equal to 50 minus 36 which is 40 so the number of officers who chose none of the three kinds of food is 40 thank you very much for watching up to this point please if you've not subscribed yet kindly click the subscribe button and see you in another video